Here, humans, kids or something. We're looking at something that's undergone some grooming. Oh yes, I see a house. Oh yes, I see another cool little kiosk. Wellesley also has coy but very natty and well-made kiosks. has a good sense for its amenities. Oh, I see. The trail meets the pond at a propitious place. There you have the pond side road. Looks like it's tricked out as a kind of bridal trail. People fishing. <coughs> Kids most likely catching kibbies or something. <coughs> Bench. And our lead in to the parking lot and the welcoming kiosks. You do a whole photo essay on nature place kiosks. Place. This is your critical turn if you're heading in north from the south. Follow this and it'll take you all the way to Newton Lower Falls. Ah, the kiosk has a neat little thing explaining it belongs to Butterfly Meadow. Summarizing the array of flowering plants that seem to please butterflies. Surely something worthy, worthy of further and deeper examination. That's the great thing about the Bay Circuit Trail system. There are just layers and layers and layers of elements to describe and express. And it looks like we're probably at Oakland Street parking lot. We have a pond. Long and narrow. Triangle. Teeming with life. Trail heading north towards the pond in the parking lot. Here we are heading south, skirting another Esker segment in an old pond. The Lake Trail heads down almost to the Needham border before it meets up with the Sudbury Trail segment and further continues along the southern edge of Wellesley. For today's purposes, I'm gonna head up Oakland Street, due north-ish, and uh, see if I can't find my way to the Wellesley Hills train station. I'll go through another little bit of town land momentarily. And it may turn out to be a useful shortcut. We're running along Oakland, we soon run into the Brookside Community Gardens. Another Wellesley Conservation amenity. It has its parking lot. And there you have Oakland Street. One of the more important little local arterials.